beautiful people of the internet, it's Cartney, and I'm here today to show you guys my everyday makeup routine. So basically, when I say everyday, I mean when I actually put makeup on. This is what I do. Most of the time, I don't wear makeup, especially to school. Yeah, I just don't. It's too hot. Too lazy. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you guys have not entered my back to school giveaway, you so should. This is the video right here. Link to it down below. You just have to be a subscriber. Thumbs up the video. There's a couple other ways to have some extra entries. But without further ado, let's see how I go from this to this. Just had my drag queen moment. If you know what I mean, comment down below. So the first step in my everyday makeup routine is to prime my face. I use this True Blend Face Primer for dry skin from CoverGirl. Don't even know if they still sell it anymore. I'm really sorry. I work for cosmetics in Target and I haven't seen it in forever, but it's amazing. And primer is pretty self-explanatory. So then I'm going to use foundation and I'm going to use the dirtiest beauty blender in the entire world to apply this to my face. I'm so sorry. I really need to wash it, but you know, lazy. But I tend to put it on my hand and then I will put it on different places in my face and then I will pat it later on. And I do the whole dabbing method. I don't do the spreading method like a lot of people do. I use my beauty blender correctly. At least I think I do. I pretend like I know what I'm doing. Honestly, as long as my makeup looks good in the end, that's all that matters to me. And for those of you wondering, this is the foundation I use. I've obviously used it a lot, so it looks kind of crazy, but it is amazing. It's from Revlon. I highly, highly recommend it. And ladies, gentlemen, whoever's watching this video, I highly recommend that you go down to your neck too because your foundation never perfectly matches your skin. And I hate that line of foundation. It don't look cute. The next up is concealer. And all I use concealer for is under my eyes. I use it as a primer and I use it to cover just a couple of my spots. That's it. I don't highlight with it. And I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's amazing. It's really expensive. I didn't want to do it, but it was so worth it. So after that, I am going to sculpt my face, which is a process for me because I'm really pale and I don't want it to look like I was punched in the face. But I use the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. It's very awesome. I use the color Sculpt, which is a powder bronzer and not the cream bronzer because it doesn't work on my face. But I basically will just suck in my cheeks just a little bit to see where the cheekbone is because mine aren't very defined. And I also highly recommend that you really blend your bronzer because, especially if you're as pale as me, it's going to look like you got mud all over your face, like your face is dirty. It's not going to look right. And my bronzer does look a little darker on screen than it does in real life. I just like to make it look natural, like I've got a little color to my face. Then I go in and I do my blush. This is another thing that I really have to work hard not to have too much of, but I use Glisten from Tarte most of the time because it's a really pretty like pinkish color. But yeah, I try to blend this in like crazy and not use too much because otherwise it looks like I have rosacea and that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for a little bit of a flush of color to my face. That's what you say, right? Right? <laughs> then I gotta do my highlight. It's gotta be popping. So basically I use the lightest highlight from the Tardis palette and it's amazing for my pale skin. It just makes it glow like no other. I love highlight. So I'll put it on my cheekbones. I'll put it on my nose my cupid's bow and right underneath my mouth. And then bam, look at that glow. I just love this palette. For eyeshadow, I have a tendency to normally go natural. I mean, I'm that girl who will also wear pink and glitter and everything, but on an everyday basis, I go all natural. So I actually use the highlighter I use on my face for my eyes as like the base color. That's what that is. And then I went in with a color from the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette, which I broke while making this video and it was very sad. Then comes eyeliner, aka the trickiest process ever because to get two wings to match is nearly impossible. But you guys, I just had to disclaim this is the eyeliner I use and I have the jankiest container ever. It's broken. The lid comes off half the time. It's a mess. The way that I do my eyeliner though is that I start from the center, go all the way to the inner corner of my eye, draw it all the way out, and then I do the winged eyeliner because it's the struggle to get them to be the same. But the way that I do it is I'll draw a straight line that matches the line of my bottom lash line, and then I'll create a triangle. And that is how I do my winged eyeliner. It doesn't always work perfectly, but you know, it's just a give and take process. It's practice makes perfect, honestly. Then I got to do my mascara and 
Yes, I do not use fake lashes or anything. I go all natural. And I use the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. This stuff is the bomb.com. It's so good, but it's really expensive. Is it just me, or do you always make a stupid face when you put your mascara on? Like, I can never keep my mouth closed, ever. Why I made this dumbass face, I don't know. But the last step of my everyday makeup routine is to just put some Vaseline on my lips. I really love, love, love lipstick, and I have so many, but I'm trying not to put a bunch of stuff on my lips right now, so it's just a nice gloss. Alright guys, so that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. When I'm not lazy, I'll actually do my makeup like this. But a lot of times, I really, really am that lazy. But don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I love all of you guys so much.